West girding up to prop up Kiev to continued military campaign in 2024. Kiev is preparing new reserves to launch a fresh offensive next year. In parallel with their attempts to break through to the Sea of Azov, Ukrainian forces have intensified attacks on major targets deep inside Russia. According to Western media reports, Kiev has increased the production of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, as it expects the United States and Germany to send high-precision long-range ATACMS and Taurus missiles, respectively, and is getting ready to deploy US and Swedish fighter jets. So far, homemade Ukrainian UAVs and Western-supplied weapons have not helped Ukraine's armed forces to achieve any major results. Reports from the line of engagement show that intense positional battles are ongoing there while Kiev is running out of reserves. Social networks and legacy media report that the total mobilization currently underway in Ukraine and additional supplies of armored vehicles are meant to form at least one more Ukrainian army corps to be comprised of five separate mechanized brigades and four separate infantry units. The latter are scheduled to be formed by the end of October and four infantry units, judging by reconnaissance, are almost ready and we will soon see them on the battlefield. The Rybar Telegram channel reported, saying that, in addition, Ukraine also expects to commission the 5th Tank Brigade by year-end. The Ukrainian Army Corps may number 30,000 to 40,000 troops, retired Lieutenant General Yuri Netkachev, a military expert, told Nezavizimaya Gazeta. That's not much compared to the reserves being formed by the Russian army. As many as 270,000 new recruits have signed a contract with the Russian armed forces. They are currently being trained and will soon join the special military operation, he said. Meanwhile, the Czech General Staff Chief, Lieutenant General Karol Rika, told Reuters that the West must prepare for a lengthy military operation in Ukraine. In the overall picture, I think there is currently no capacity on either side to reach their ultimate declared objectives anytime soon, Rika said. It won't last a few weeks. It will last for long, probably. And it's important that we keep supporting Ukrainians for a very long time. Rika, who served in Afghanistan and speaks English and Russian, predicts that Moscow would act less predictably and pose a more serious threat to the West even after the Ukraine conflict ends, Reuters said.